Hello guys, I just want to show you in this short video how nicely the plants are dancing together. This is chart of one of my recent clients who agreed to share it. This person's work is very specific because he is working with the introducing the solar energy and he was working and living in many countries including the uh, bird country US then uh, China Italy then again US then moving to Germany in fact we can appreciate uh, he moved to Germany in Jupiter Jupiter we see that this is the Badakesha planet in the movable sign in tent house from the moon and we have to confirm always with the additional chart called Vargas and Jupiter is with the 12th Lord in the D4 chart it is the Badaka means enduring harassing or unling this is the troublemaker and represented by the Rahu this tempting one but also showing the blind spot something we don't see so often these problems are self-inflicted Prasha Marga says that this has two features Agantuka which is external and uh, Adrishta which is not visible so in this way many out of blue hard to explain scenarios are coming in for the negative effects we have to see malefic either influence the bava or the lord so if there are no malefics influencing then this negative aspect of badaka will be not there and also in choosing between the house and the lord just see which one is more malefic so when connected to health issues the badaka may show hard to explain ailments A similar situation may occur also when the node is influencing the lagna so how to calculate this for movable sign Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn just see the 11th house when the ascendant is fixed then see Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius then 9th house is Badaka and for dual sign which is Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius and Pisces the Badaka would be the 7th house if the benefit is there then the positive side of Rahu can be activated this may be like the foreign troubles 10th house from the moon is very handy because it shows who will support us where and also when so very useful for timing we are seeing this position and we are getting answers for all of these three questions and as usual the moon is showing the internal the mind external society so it also shows what is in our mind when we are working if this plant is in the Manana Karkastana, then it can mean one is hating the job. So it is very important principle enhanced in Sharavali, Jataka Parijata and Brihat Jataka, these three classics of Vedic astrology. And if the Lord is an immovable sign or is Mars, then it supports foreign travel, like in this case, the Lord is in the 12th house of the foreign travels and Jupiter and Mars are in the movable signs. If it's in fix, then it's more in the bird country and the dual, it is uh, some distance between these two. The dash are related to 10th Lord from Moon or its dispositor in Rashi in Navamsha. These planetary periods often mark something important is happening to one's career life. Now the Chatur Tamsa is the special chart, the Varga, which is showing the properties and all of them will be marked by fourth house influence in this chart and we are counting all the houses from the fourth as the reference so for example third may show losses or losses because of the properties and the second house which will be 11th uh, income from the fourth will show the wealth coming from the properties and exactly in the saturn saturn period the dasha person moved from china to us so again the beginning of the mahadasha and of course 10th from moon being Saturn in 12th house of foreign travel we cannot interpret this uh, yoga differently it's very very clear so the first to Berlin was Jupiter Jupiter the Badakesha acting like Rahu the second big move was Saturn Saturn 12th house of foreign travel activated the 12th house is the last house in the chart the sign Pisces is there so it shows the Nirvana the freedom liberation also freedom from awareness therefore it shows either dreaming or meditating and especially the 12th house from the karakamsha will show 
our liberation and also all these devatas supporting us in that journey. In the Vedic theology, we would have four spiritual paths, the Kiana, Karma, Raja and Bhakti. They are very nicely explained in the books of uh, Swami Vivekananda. And we could understand liberation as uh, improving in the gunas, going from Rajas, Tamas to the Sattva and then finally overcoming that to the Shuddha Sattva and getting the liberation either in the impersonal Brahman or getting the nice darshan of the beloved deity. Okay guys, if you like this video so far, please don't forget to click the thumbs up according to what we know. This small favor you can do for me is uh, making these videos more visible on this platform. So you are helping me this way. And also, if you like to see similar videos in the future, uh, click subscribe with the bell notification on so you are always notified when the new videos are coming. We are publishing here uh, once or twice a week, so you don't want to miss those nice uh, goodies of Vedic astrology. And now let's go back to this analysis. And what I want to show you, because this person is working with the solar energy, so is it not too direct to see the sun in the tent house of work, in the Rashi and the Navamsha, beautifully sitting there? In the Dashamsa we will have another house for this and this will give us very important meaning. And here the dispositor is very important because all that work is very much area or territory centered. So that Saturn and Mars of property, they are very much connected to the houses of work. For example, in the Rashi chart, the 10th Lord from Lagna is Jupiter with the Mars exalted in the 10th from the moon. So this Mars of property, by the way, the person also earns additionally from property or had this project in the past or projects, but also this work as a consultant and manager in that solar energies work is also very much we could say technology and area territory based therefore this mars blessing is very visible in the chart and also we cannot interpret this uh, in other way in the navamsha chart which has to support any big events like that we have 10th lord saturn also having mutual drishti with the Mars in the Lagna. So that Mars in the Lagna is giving that blessings related to um, uh, also favoring this all Ahimsa centered theologies like Buddhism and so on. Good visualization, prognostications, Mars is very good for that. Engineering, of course, technologies. And, but here the Saturn Mars, especially Saturn in fourth house of properties, of places, uh, this is also very much this uh, business. Saturn also may very often shows the entrepreneurship and Jupiter is aspecting also uh, the tent house, which is showing this consulting uh, position in all the dynamics of the personal responsibility or the function what is fulfilling in those projects. And that is very nicely supported by this Chakra Yoga, third lord with the fifth lord, therefore persons having a very high position, influential position in this work. So these Raja Yogas will also show level or intensity if they are present in the Rasi chart and we have them there with this beautiful Malavia, very strong Venus exalted in the house of work tent house. Oliva Berkeley, Roy Anderson and John Butler, they were also sharing this chakra yoga and uh, this was giving them this very, very high position uh, of uh, administration, of leadership and so on. Navamsha is the separate chart, most important of the Vargas. It comes from dividing the sign or house into the nine parts and then allocating those plans to the separate chart based on the special uh, philosophy of calculation and assigning those plans to these new houses, new roles they will play. And this is the chart of fortune and uh, internal meaning, connection to God, depending how we are uh, interpreting it. When we are trying to get those meaning separately from Rashi, it is showing the partnership. And if we are analyzing it with the Rashi chart, it is showing more the strand and the fortune of the Grahas. And uh, so then it works as a kind of filter or a confirmation basis to whatever predictions we are doing in the Razi chart. And also the second current one relationship in person's life. Uh, this is the psychologist and we can see how else it could be shown in the chart than 
Mercury Moon Yoga. We have this Parivartana Mercury Moon involving the point in the Navamsha showing the second relationship or marriage, which is the second house. We are counting always eight from the last relationship. So the first relationship is the seventh house. The next relationship, which is the second one, will be eight from the seven, which is the second, the third one. If potentially it happens, then it will be the ninth house because it will be eight from the second house. We also have the big important role here. Ninth Lord is in the 12th, which is the fortune is there abroad. And we know that the Karaka for being abroad or dealing with those projects will be the Rahu. So if we open now the Dashamsa, the current job started in Saturn Mars. Mars is of course fifth Lord. So the new jobs, new projects are coming always in the Dasha related to the fifth house. So here, this is very straightforward. And now what I want to show you, so the peak of the video we could say, is how the Rashi and Navamsha are showing more this uh, personal experience. But the dynamics from the Eagle point of view is nicely here shown by the Dashamsa, which is showing the environment. So it's not only me-centered or subjective-centered in the Dashamsa, which is showing me as an equal person to others. Now, what is my relationship to what I receive as a karmic experience is the seventh house here, because that Sun and Rahu in the Gemini. Gemini is showing environment, Sun is showing something to do with resources, and here it would be this installing all this or helping, supporting, and what the person is exactly doing. He's employed by these companies, so these companies are like partners to him, and he's doing whatever is in second, sixth, or tenth, because these houses will show the responsibility, the function one does. So here we have the Jupiter in second house, which is showing a lot of success. Exalted and debilitated planets in the Shamsa are showing a lot of success. And we have also Venus in own sign, also is giving a very nice outcome. So we have Jupiter for consulting and Venus for management, and he's employed for some projects. We can see nine towards the contract jobs, and this will be function of a partner's son in the seventh house, and these are very often the foreign companies. So therefore this Rahu in seven house showing the partnership as a foreigners. So this Dashamsa very nicely is giving us the eagle eye, what is going on, the higher, wider perspective of this person's career life, whilst the Rashi and Navamsha is showing the what substances and what will be the personal experience of all that what is coming to the native. Okay, guys, so that's gonna be it for today. I hope you find this insights uh, valuable. If you liked this video, then please don't forget to click the thumbs up. You are really helping me with this algorithm to make it more visible on this platform. Uh, subscribe for more. Uh, thanks for watching here till the end and being here on this channel and see you in the next one.